All right, today I'm uh, going to be playing some clips from a select video here. Now, you're looking at uh, four of the greatest false prophets up on a stage right now. We're going to listen to a clip in just a second. This was a conference from October 21st. I, I believe Kent Christmas was the host. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, this was the conference where Dog the Bounty Hunter spoke. And I think Kat Kerr was there also. And so this particular clip was a Hank Kuhneman uh, sermon, I guess you'd call it. And I think they're they're kind of wrapping everything up in a culmination, in a, in a grand finale, so to speak. And I want you to look at the title. Hank Kuhneman Prophetic Word, I Saw Next Year. What does that mean? Oh, here it is. It all unravels powerful prophecy. So the reason I want to show you this is because this was the segue in a little trick that the false prophets perform all too often, where they move the goalposts. They kick the can into next year. And we see it all the time. Remember they told you that after Trump lost that, you know, he was going to be restored in 2021. And then they moved it to 2022. And now that we're winding up the year, they're kicking it into 2023. And of course, why not? And you've got to believe the prophets, right? All right, so I'm just going to press play here and we'll just comment as we go shall be judged righteousness your righteousness your justice shall be established and you will bring us into 2023 you will unravel you will ex all right so there's hank hank you, you know first of all when, when i look at the stage here i'm i'm kind of starstruck here it's uh it's pretty impressive it's it's kind of like seeing the beatles We've gotten back together, Ringo. You've got all the, I guess, you know, I guess I would say four of the top social media false prophets all on one stage. It's pretty, pretty intimidating. And of course, you've got Hank, very boisterous at the front, just shouting and thundering out. While Doc Holliday here is, gosh, he's wielding, it almost looks like a, an extended crowbar. Careful there, Robin. Don't want to put anybody's eye out with that. But uh, as as we go again, you can hear him very clearly kicking this into 2023, and uh, it's just they're they're kind of like an like an old man boy band, isn't it? It's like the Backstreet False Prophets up on stage here. It's pretty uh pretty something to see here. Expose. You will bring to greater justice. But you will bring a receding and a freedom to the nations. Come on. Come on. Just begin to turn around. Come on. We should have all caught up. All right. So as, as Hank caught up in the moment, starts to lose his mind and, and begins to insist that everybody start, for whatever reason, just start turning around. I guess it's metaphoric for... You know, God's going to turn around our situation here in America. But it's just kind of funny what happens here. Look at, there goes Timothy. I wonder if he even knows where he's at. He probably just wants to get back to the hotel and go to sleep. It's turning in our finances. It's turning in our economy. It's turning for this church. It's turning for a place of worship. Look, look at Kent here. <laughs> Kent is, Kent's like, yeah, I'm not going to turn around, but I'll turn my microphone around. So he just starts swirling his microphone. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let it be sealed. Let it be active. You know, the... the <laughs> I'm sorry, this is all just funny because this is all theater. 
the the audience and even those I bet watching at home who believe these men to be actual prophets, they're all just in a frenzy. Again, as this culminates, this is, you know, the grand finale. And so they're not really sure, or maybe they're just not wise to it. But what's happening here is Hank Kuhneman is testing them to see if they're still obedient. You know, turn around, turn around. And of course, they, you know, you'll see here as we continue, they gladly do. see you physically turn around come on come on turn around those of you that are watching if you got to move your arm and and of course they're obedient so to kent's i'm sorry to hank's satisfaction uh the audience is proving themselves as obedient because what does that mean turning around well nothing it doesn't mean anything is it of faith no it's an action in which Kent has, again, you know, see if he can get them to turn around and be obedient. And of course they do, thinking that by turning around that this is going to do something. But these are grown people out in the audience who say, yeah, we'll do the hokey pokey. We'll begin to turn around. And if he tells us to put our left foot out and put our left foot in, we'll do that too. We'll shake it all about because they absolutely worship these rock stars. Again, look at this. This is like the Beatles up there, right? In their minds, it is. These are idols. These false prophets are idols. You'd almost wonder, yeah, they've got their merchandise out in the lobby. But I bet they could literally put their likeness on posters. Remember posters? <laughs> I bet they would sell out if they sold posters in the lobby. And people would take it home and hang, them on, you know, hang their posters on the walls. I'm not kidding. This is human worship. You say it's turning for me. Come on, everybody do this now with your hand. Like you're putting up your rod of authority. Come on, every every spirit of the devil. L look at Doc Holliday here from Tombstone. He's he's gonna gonna he's gonna hit somebody with that thing. Every opposing force is being dropped. Now I wanted to show you this because this is just silliness. Try to imagine ever reading a story like this in the Holy Bible. You wouldn't. With the Apostle Peter, you know, first before, you know, I heal anybody or give any word from the Lord, everybody stand up and start turning around. Oh, okay. Isn't it just silly? But I, I did want to finish this video off um, as this uh, person's channel is ending this video he puts up a vid couple of video links and i just i i bust out laughing when i saw this one right here look at angry man here captain death he loves to this is ken christmas he calls out death and of course fittingly titled bodies will will lie in the streets and angry man you know he loves to prophesy that you know it's just all going to be death everything's death i think he actually calls down more death than even julie green but again these are idols for the masses and they're false and uh if you find yourself receiving commands to do silly things like turn around to prove your faith in this case turn around to prove your loyalty to hank kuhneman and the rest of the false prophets uh, again, as they use that trick to kick the can down the road into the new year, that's that's when you're going to see the turnaround. I know we told you 21, and then it was going to be 22, and now it's going to be 23. So utterly ridiculous. Stay away from these false prophets.